The FBI is also searching for dozens of people seen inside the Capitol. This morning, there's a seven foot fence around the building, but that's not the only fallout we're seeing from the riot. This morning, outrage as more details come to light about the deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. Investigators finding five guns, including a military-style assault rifle, two pipe bombs, and 11 Molotov cocktails. And the human toll, more than 50 police officers hurt during the clashes with a violent pro-Trump mob. And Wednesday evening, 42-year-old police officer Brian Sicknick succumbing to injuries sustained in the battle. That making five deaths now linked to the insurrection on America's symbol of democracy. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. In a new video, President Trump condemning the same angry mob he riled up with repeated false claims about a stolen election. We're going to walk down to the Capitol because you'll never take back our country with weakness. And by inciting sedition, as he did yesterday, he must be removed from office. While it's only 13 days left, any day can be a horror show. Democrats calling for impeachment while also looking to Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment. ABC sources say Republicans are also privately discussing the option. But Thursday, the president finally accepting his election loss. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. And now, with just 12 days till President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration, a seven-foot fence going up around the Capitol, and questions about police conduct, videos appearing to show some officers moving barricades for demonstrators. And officers have arrested more than 80 people so far, but the Capitol Hill police chief now resigning because of the botched response. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington.